What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here and in this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to open several doors with one button. This tutorial is the result of someone in the comments section who followed my how to open any door with any button tutorial and their question was how can you make the button open multiple doors? So once again, just FYI, this video is off of the back of my how to open any door with any button tutorial. And if you haven't seen that tutorial already, I highly recommend you check it out if this is something that you want to set up. So I've got these two doors here and over here, I've got these two buttons. And if I press this button on the left, you'll see that it will activate both of these doors. I'll press it again to close both of them. And this one on the right is just connected to this door on the right. And this is very, very easy to set up, guys. So without further ado, let me show you how to do this. Alrighty, guys. Now I'm here in my How to Make Any Button Open Any Door project. And what I'm going to be showing you very, very quickly is how to make one of these buttons open multiple doors instead of this button being connected to this door and this button being connected to this door. I'm going to make this first button just open both of these doors here and it is very very easy to set up so if i head to my power button blueprint right here when we press the button if the door is not locked then we're calling this blueprint interface open door right here and this is what actually opens the door using this actor to activate which is a reference to an actor in our level which we have set right here in the details panel of our button so what I'm actually going to do is just delete this interface right here. And then I'm going to select my actor to activate variable down here. And in the details panel, I'm going to drop this down and change this to an array. And that is how you can make this basically a list of references to actors in your level. Uh, but instead of just calling the BPI interact, on this array, that will not work. We have to call it on each element of the array. So let's create a new function here and we'll call it activate actors like so. We'll grab our actor to activate here and off of here we'll do a for each loop. And basically what this does is loops through this array of references and then you can you know, uh, define your logic here of what you want this function to do with each array element. So what we'll do is we'll first check if the array element is valid because you may have uh, elements in this array that you haven't actually set. So we don't want to try and run this logic on uh, an element which is null that, uh, you know, doesn't actually have a reference to any actor in your level. But if it is valid, we can drag off the array element here and find our BPI open door message and run that. And it is as simple as that. So we're going to loop through this array. And then if there is a valid reference in the element of the array, then we'll open that door. And all we need to do is go back to the event graph and call this function right here when we press the button. And then if we compile this and head back to our level, we can select one of our uh, button blueprints right here, and we can add some elements to our actor to activate array down here. So we'll add two. We'll click the eyedropper on the first one and select this left door. And we'll click the eyedropper on the second one and select this right door. And just to make sure that this works and doesn't give us any errors, we can also select the other button here and let's just add one element and select the eyedropper and we'll just select the door on the right. So this button on the right will just open this one door on the right. And if I hit play now and I run over to this left button and press it, it will open both doors. And if I press the right button, it will just operate the right door like so. And if I exit the Pi now, we should not have any errors uh, coming up down here and we do not nice and that's it guys if this tutorial has been of any use or value to you whatsoever please hit like and subscribe and i will see you on the next one